All right, it's time to read the comments. Let's see how many there are. This is it. All right. Ropley's live gathering. Nope. Gathering live in the black zone with millions of stuff in my inventory showing where I am and what I'm doing is not good. I'm not going to live gather. Always I'm waiting for the series. Broad's really amazing. Good luck always. Solo gathering rods of Avalon. Do you mean only the uh, rods of Avalon gathering or do you mean all the gathering um, with commentary? I would really like to know if you differentiate between Black Zone Gathering and Rose of Avalon Gathering. Why do you play without offhand in the I'm out <laughs> video? Um, I simply just took the druidic staff with me um, spontaneously because there was some kind of boss that he wasn't able to do. So I took the staff with me and didn't think about taking an offhand with me otherwise i of course would have had an offhand actually i've been wondering why you didn't use one-handed dagger it's definitely more efficient for killing aspects and ancient mobs at 1400 ip you'd be able to do all the old mobs with one assassin hood kind of sucks for pvp while solo though so many build counter you um, I have been trying out the one-handed dagger and it really didn't do much better than the battle axe and the druidic staff. Like I have a couple of videos where I tried out the one-handed dagger and it didn't really work any better. I mean I will probably try it out in the future once again and see if there are differences but the last time I've tried there weren't like the battle axe is probably just as strong but I'm going to try it um, also like an ancient mob of a high tier isn't dead by two um, E plus armor combos of the one handed dagger sadly <laughs> that would be way too easy of course aspects are even much tankier same applies except that it's almost impossible to do them unless you have insane IP saw you in arenas a couple of days ago keep up the great content but yeah sure and thanks timestamps are good man you can do it if you want so mm -hmm. I'm probably am not going to do it because it's a lot of work and it doesn't seem to have such a big impact if there is anybody who thinks differently tell me and I will reconsider it I don't like gathering anymore since 8 guys raped and robbed me while collecting rock tier 6-3 in black zone I don't know, I have been killed a lot of times in this game already, so I'm immune to that, I'm resistant to that, and dying in this game is just a really big part of it, so maybe this game isn't generally so good for you. I mean, if you're dying when you're doing PvP, is that different, you know? Like... <laughs> Why don't you stream on Twitch? I would see you. Why not stream on YouTube? Like, there's not really a difference except that I would get money from streaming on YouTube while I wouldn't while I'm on Twitch. Um, also, like, I wouldn't have these Twitch drops because I'm not an Albion partner. So, you wouldn't, you know, basically the only reason for you probably would be these Twitch drops. But it's not possible to get them from me because I'm not an Albion online partner. Nice, sir. Thanks, sir. That 8.3, damn. 
Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the 8.3 fiber node, the big stack, was pretty nice. I think it was 2 million, 3 million. If we had gathering gear and gathering food and stuff like that, Avalonian tools probably would have been 6 to 8 million. Pretty nice extra loot. Times 3 speed is hard to listen to. Well, yeah, that's a point. <laughs> People said they don't want to be heard, they don't want to have their voice comes on YouTube, so that's how I censored it, basically. That's German comment, das x3 ist so ein Abfuck, meaning the 3 times speed is um, annoying. And, well, yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine... I don't know, I could have just muted the whole thing and put random YouTube copy free music over it, which is actually a lot of work, you wouldn't believe that. I don't know, I don't know, I mean, tell me if you prefer the sped up sound, in game sound plus sped up talking, or do you prefer random music? I can, of course, just mute the whole thing and upload it without music as well. <laughs> Would you prefer that? And maybe maybe I should make a poll, I don't know. Longbow is so squishy, but it's very satisfying when you manage to connect the damage. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. It's pretty nice, in a way. But I don't like the, the clap-heavy fighting. It's pretty boring for me. Waiting 15 seconds to cast one spell and then wait another 15 seconds to cast one spell. Not my cup of tea. Uh, one second. It is much more appreciated if you play the speed to normal. Every time there's a gank moment, like what you do to your 4 speed gathering video. Yeah, I was thinking about it, about searching for all the short moments, but I looked at a few of them and there wasn't really anything happening, you know. Ganking people is really always the same thing. Like you just press two buttons, he is dismounted, then you chase and then he's dead and you loot. Like, yeah. I probably would have done the thing that you're requesting if I had um, written down the, let's say, timestamps, you know, so it would be easy for me to edit it. But well, yeah, for the next video, I'm going to do it again, especially when there are some interesting fights or something. In this particular video, there weren't any fights, you know, it was always a stomp, it was always just chasing, it was no real interesting PvP. Hmm. I've only found two gathering tomes while my buddy has found over 20 in way less time. And I've spent longer gathering same resources as him. The RNG is broke. Well, RNG is RNG. You know, it's random. It's just random. What can I say? Look up the definition of random. I have only found one single book and I've I didn't gather too little like I've been gathering for six hours eight hours eight nine hours since the update came live and I've only found one book bad luck mate your buddy is either lying or gathering t4 stuff wait gathering t4 stuff get Get tomes easy, and we were gathering tier 6 fiber and up together in the roads. I just have bad luck. Huh, I also wonder if gathering low tier stuff gives, gives these books quickly, easily. Maybe it does. I, I think it was. You, you, I think you can get them from tier 4 and up. There's, there are no tier 3 books, I believe, but tier 4 and higher exist. But the tier 4 books will be worth nothing in a very short amount of time, I'm pretty sure. What does XD mean? <laughs> A 
XD stands for the letters X and D. Like this. You know, the smiley. Which is usually looking like this. And for fun, sometimes people write it like you would say it, you know. The Avalon Road mod can be enchanted now. Oh, not mod, mob. Do you think that Avalon Road is as profitable as, as profitable as Black Zone? No, no, not at all. The roads, roads of Avalon give me like 60% of the loot that I find in the Black Zone, approximately. The Black Zone is much better, much better, definitely. For solo gatherers. I don't know how it is when you duo gather. Duo gathering could be better in the roads because you can kill all the ancient mobs and you can kill most. You can also kill almost all aspects duo. Maybe some tier 8 ones are not possible as two. But you can all kill all the ancient mobs which is already pretty good if they are high tier, tier 8, tier 7. But I haven't tested it enough yet. Server just went down and your videos appear. Nice. That's the idea. Somewhere I made a poll and asked when people would like me to upload my videos. Not really upload, but when they should go public. And people wanted it to be at the server maintenance, so I did so. Fastest 1 million loot ever in the solo PV curse stuff Rods of Avalon video, yeah. I found a lot of PvP and I found two purple chests, one in a dungeon and one outside. <coughs> was pretty quick money and was pretty pretty nice to be able to go back this quickly. Bravo DMs um is that another language? I don't know what that means. Bravo DMs. <laughs> Anybody has an idea? How did you make your millions? By gathering and by duo trio PvPing in the roads of Avalon mainly. That's how I made most of my money. From gathering in the last five or six months I got 80 million, 70 million I think. Which you can see in my video that's called my gathering statistics. There I took all the statistics from the videos that I've uploaded to YouTube. I, I've uploaded every gathering session I've had in the last five or six months. And I took all these statistics, counted them together and it showed 70 million. Even uh, subtracting the money that I lost because of death. Like the pure profit was like, I don't know, 90 million or something, but I lost a lot of money by dying. What's the point of ganking sing single gatherers with 20 people groups? Okay, he's holding 9 min gear and stuff. After killing half of its inventory would break and 4.5 million should split between 20,000 gankers. This ain't no funny. Well, yeah, when... <laughs> I mean, when they are running around ganking, they should kill everyone, but the chasing part is not that smart. They shouldn't waste time when it's not possible to catch somebody anymore. But well, this game is difficult and a lot of MMORPG players are playing this game. So it's not like that elite. If you consider games like League of Legends and stuff, where it's pure PvP, people are on a way higher level. They have way more skill, they have way more game knowledge. And here it's a lot of casual players playing and most people don't really know what they are doing. So funny things like 20 minute long chases can happen actually. I already miss all cursed stuff. Didn't really change much about it. You know, like, 
The new Q is pretty useless for most situations and the rest basically stayed the same. I don't know, like nothing has changed except the animation. Wasn't 6.2 more profitable than buying tier 8 curse? Also, please do more PvE content. <coughs> um, I probably still had the tier 8 curse stuff lying around in my bank. That's why I didn't buy a new one. Um, it's possible that 6.2 is cheaper. But if I have one lying around, why shouldn't I use it? Especially since tier 8 gives more IP than 6.2. Mm, please do more PvE content. Mm, probably not. Like occasionally doing the solo PvE in the roads. And for this week, there's actually a PvE video coming. Me and some people killed the. Uh, Tier 6 Slate Titan. We could a uh, Tier 6 Stone Titan actually, so that's also PvE, I guess. But I'm not going to do like HCE or Avalonian dungeons, you know, these things are rather boring for me. I'm mainly about the PvP part of this game. And the Roads of Avalon PvE thing is so nice because you can find people while doing so. You can fight people while doing it. If you got tier 7 fishing rod, fishing in tier 8 Roads of Avalon will get you about 1 million per hour. With or without premium. Is it even worth it? Nothing you can gather is worth the 9 million of tools you need to be carrying. Um, if you're a normal player, if you're a good player, it's not worth it. Like, if you only look at the silver, it's not worth it to take the Avalonian tools with you. You have to survive like 25 to 30 times and then die once for Avalonian tools to be worth it. Otherwise, you lose silver by using Avalonian tools. I don't know how to factor the part in that you get additional fame so you level up faster by using Avalonian tools. Don't know how to calculate that. It's a little factor. But you need to survive 30 times. So you don't lose silver by using Avalonian tools. So if you die every 30 runs once, it's totally okay to use Avalonian tools. But if you die more, don't use Avalonian tools. You mad lad, clapping hands. Thank you. Hi man, like your video. Thanks. GG, nice try. <laughs> was worth a try. Bloodletter was never fan square in my opinion. The execute damage is literally 30% below equals dead. Just a weapon that was made for, for two one v one or more. Of well, I knew what I was getting into. <laughs> was my choice. It's not like he could have dismounted me or something or killed me if I didn't want to. Nice try, but Bloodletter is perfect for one v one. It is not. I frameable E, you can resistance the E, complete combo loss, lacks the damage in Q and W, almost every build can beat a blood ladder easily. Well, depends on what you're playing, but blood ladder is definitely beatable in 1v1. It's not the best 1v1 weapon. Mm -mm -mm. That 30% should be a mistake, it has to be 20%, that E is totally unfair. I wouldn't say so, like Bloodletter blood is not broken in my opinion. It's a pretty nice weapon and it doesn't seem to be too strong. There are a lot of builds that Bloodletter cannot win a 1v1 against. For example, that Bruiser, Black Skull build, Battle Axe, he has no chance against a Battle Axe. And there are other things. It's not unfair. La 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 is a mediocre weapon in almost every content. Why would you nerf it even more? 
Well, it's not a mediocre weapon. Well, in almost every content it's pretty good in gathering, but right now it's pretty bad if you want to gather big stacks. There you can actually not use the blood letter. You need swords. And you can see that in the next black zone gathering video that I'm uploading. I mean, you clearly don't understand how to play in this matchup. Ah, oh, this sounds pretty mean. The blood letter will out damage the spear. You have to use your reach to kill him. I think uh, blood letter doesn't out damage the spear. In this situation, if I change to reflect, he may, he may. But if I use the impaler, I probably would have out damaged him. My normal attacks do way more damage than his. And my Q does the, basically the same as his Q. You have to use your reach to kill him. I, th I think switching to reflect was a mistake. Yeah, I think so too. Whoops. Since in order to use it properly, you have to be close to him and so you're losing your reach advantage. I think the better play would have been to use cripple against the soldier and switch the boots to rejuvenating sprint in order to kite him. And when he chain slashes, to you, just use your E to regain distance again. Kiting him would also render his Hellion Jacket healing useless, which would give you another huge advantage. Yeah, he had double Hellion Jacket with a Spectre Hood, and just kiting would have been the correct play. Like, but I don't like that, I want to stay in there and fight, but the Reflect is just bad against double Hellion. It's just bad against it. When he switched to Reflect, I already knew it was a loss. Impale would have also made it a lot easier to kite the Hellion Jacket. But as you say, Cripple would have also been good. Both other skills W similar damage. Yep. How do you know if it's a hideout map? If there is a minus between the words. Satan minus dun dum or kient minus blah blah if there's a minus in the name then it's a hideout map when you see its name in the middle when you see its name has middle name or it starts with the letter q it's a hideout map i don't know if that's correct no idea haven't paid attention what mount is good for gathering the stack the moose and the spectral diabore I don't like the pest lizards against big groups you're just dead using them and only big groups are really dangerous so I wouldn't recommend the pest lizards of course small um, small mounts are no option because big groups will kill you if you use small mounts even if you're tanky it doesn't matter if you're tanky you just die against big groups if you're too slow Tier 4 stake if you are new. Once you've made enough money and experience and willing to risk more, use tier 5 transport bore. I'm not a fan of the tier 4 bore. It's too slow. It's too dangerous. If you're still making money and willing to take more risk, you can buy spectral dire or the lizard mount or tier 7 normal bore. Just don't use transport ox. That's guaranteed suicide mount. Well, as I said, still thing, still the same thing applies yeah the mount up x trick used to work but it does not work anymore after into the fray patch i haven't ever experienced the the x refresh trick by mounting up and down but i guess i missed the chance to abuse it your face lmao well yeah i was sad that i lost that fight because he was obviously worth quite a bit and i was also worth quite a bit using tier 9 gear let's see if there's a new comment nope so this is it